What's going on YouTube? It's Charlie Eugene back with another video. Like I promised, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to connect a module to the Optiplex 7060 MF. All right. My last video, I did the i5 to i7 on this 7060. Today, I wanna show you guys how to connect a module, a port, whatever, video port, whatever they call it. All right, obviously this is the cutout for it. Uh, there was a metal piece here, which looks like this. This was in place right here. So yours might look like that. It's very easy to push through it. Just put some force behind your thumb and push it through. Uh, you don't need a special tool to do it. I highly recommend pushing it through when the lid is off, but this was in place and it'll bend and you just bend it back and forward until it comes out, okay? All right, so that's that. So obviously you wanna take your lid off. And I, like I said, I usually flip mines over and start. And then I flip it back over and remove it. That's just my way of doing it. You don't have to do it that way, but I always do it that way all right <clears throat> excuse my my voice spring's coming so i might be sniffling and sneezing in this video so uh, don't mind me doing that um you do want to remove the 2.5 it, it it gets in the way when you try to put the actual module in which i'm going to show you guys right now so remove your 2.5 because it will these little latches will block you from getting the module in place right in this area here okay but let me take out the module first and show you what it looks like. There are three modules. They are USB type C, VGA, and HDMI. I don't know why they're still making VGA, VGA in 2024, but they're still doing it. And I'm gonna put the part numbers up so you guys can just Google the part number for whichever one you want. And that way you can fast search and get your results to where you wanna purchase your module okay so i'll put all three in the description box and i'll put them up right now on the screen all right so it's very very simple device here this is the hdmi version uh it has a tab that says video right here and bring this up a little bit video and if you look set this down so we're safe if you set this down if you uh bring this close you can see where the connectors on the motherboard say video USB type C. So obviously with the HDMI and the um, VGA, you want to go into the video ports. So simple. It's very easy. And like I said, to get this in, you definitely want to move your 2.5 inch drive if you have one. Move that out the way. That way it's easier to get your module in place or your video port, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now see this little, this little hook? This is where you're gonna place the video port latch. It's a little hook, we'll call it a hook. The little hook goes right into that, that cutout space, this cutout space right here. It goes right there. And it might wiggle around because you have to use the screws that come with the module to keep this thing in place. But start, do connect it, do not try to connect this to the motherboard without this being in place. It takes forever to do it that way. Get it in place first, get it set in place first, and then connect it to the motherboard. You can actually, what's even easier is to put it in place, get your screws in, because it comes with two screws, okay? Get that in first and then connect it to the motherboard so it's not moving around when you're trying to connect it to the motherboard. And I had to learn this the hard way. That's why I'm making this video to show you guys because yesterday I did a test run and I was I was uh, having all, all sorts of issues because I wasn't, uh, I didn't know how to do it correctly. So I want to show you guys how to do it easy. All right, so put your, put your module in place first. Now, get your screws in. You're gonna have to have a precision screwdriver. That's the only tool you're gonna need. Two tools, your thumb to push through that uh, perforated metal and then a, a precision screwdriver, okay? And uh, this is the hardest part of the of the, uh, of the upgrade here. It's getting this thing to match. Let's see if I got it. Nope, that's not it. So yeah, let me set it down, but you, you get the point. You, you put those screws in there until you fit it, fit it in the groove. And then you connect your uh, module to the motherboard. I think I got it, there we go. 
All right, so do it this way first. Do not connect it to the motherboard yet. Get your screws connected to the module or to the actual frame of the uh, of the machine and get that going first and then, yeah, there we go. All right, is that it? Nope, I didn't get it yet. See, this is the hardest part. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I got it. All right, so that's the hardest part right there is making sure this thing's in line. Now, you wanna just kinda loop this cable here, loop this, and then connect it down to your connector. Bam, done. Very easy job, guys, okay? So if you do it that way, in the same order that I did it, you shouldn't have any problems, okay? Any problems, and um, excuse me, it's a very easy, very easy job. So let me show you guys how it looks. And should be the same for the VGA and for the USB type C. All right, so now, you know, let me say this real quick. I love these small form factors, man. Look how many, look how much IO you have on this small device. You got, I got three video ports. I got four USB three ports. I got my ethernet port. And then in the front, I've got my USB-C and my regular USB three here. So, and like I said, this uh, this little small module works with the 3060, the 5060, and the 7060 MF micro form factor. So if you have any of those three, you can connect these modules into those Optiplex MFFs, okay? And that's pretty much it, guys. Let me put this thing back together, put the lid back on, and close out the video. So definitely, I recommend removing the 2.5 drive because of the two latches here and get your module in place first, screw it in and then connect it to the motherboard. You shouldn't have any issues. I had to find out the hard way yesterday, but uh, guys, I'm at 500 subscribers, man. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos, leaving comments, man. It feels good to have a growing channel and it feels good to be appreciated. And I like helping people, man. So when people leave me nice comments, I'm, I'm very grateful. And happy you guys do that, man. So please, please continue to support the channel. Click that like button. Hit that subscribe button, all right? And let me get one last shot before I close out this video. I'm at eight minutes. I'm almost at my, uh, at my time limit here. All right, so that's how it looks. Okay. I'm gonna make a screen, I'm gonna make a, a thumbnail out of, out of one of these shots right here. So probably use this one. Let me let me get my hand out the way. All right, that there. Yup, there you go. So anyway, man, this is Charlie Eugene, man. Click that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, if I can do it, you can do it too. Peace.